Well, good morning. One class now, one class later. It's a beautiful day to be here. Good afternoon to you. It is now a gorgeous day. It's just hovering about 70 degrees and the sun's out and um, feeling like being productive. So I did three of the five yards yesterday, which I hate doing three in a day. One, two, and three all the way down there, which you can't really see. I did mine last Wednesday. It's growing a little bit, looking a little straggly. We've got some leaves. So I think I'm going to pull the mower out and get this one done. And that'll catch things up until I need to do that one midweek. Speaking of midweek, Wednesday, less than two days from now, we're going to be hearing about the next iPhone, the iPhone 5. They've got the Yerba Buena Center all decked out. Um, if you've read the post on Mac Rumors, which I'm assuming a lot, of you, a lot of you have, it looks a lot like they took some of the iOS icons, specifically iTunes, you know, the purple thing with the iTunes logo in the middle, uh, the Game Center app with the four different little images in there, um, the Stocks widget app, Stocks app icon, they put all those and then kind of stretched them up in cool colors. It's really bright and vibrant. And um, people are saying that that looks like uh, they're hinting at a stretched or a taller iPhone 5, which, as far as I'm concerned, is going to happen. It's going to be a bigger screen. It'll be maybe an inch or half inch taller, um, maybe a little bit thinner. That'd be nice, a bigger battery. We, we, I mean, there's been parts leaking in now for months. So September 12th, two days from today, at 1 o'clock Eastern or 10 o'clock Pacific, in the morning, uh, they're going to have the the events and talk about what the next iPhone is, availability, pricing, specs, features, stuff like that. So I'm actually in a class, and we're bringing up it's my my physics seven ideas that shook the universe class at Kent, and they have a dome in there. You know, they bring the thing up. There's a name, there's some projector, and they project the the solar system up on the up on the dome. So that'll be really cool, except that's the day that we're not allowed any electronic devices. The doors are closed and locked right when class starts, and we use that machine. So I'm not going to be able to follow the events until I get out of that class at 2. So I'm going to miss an hour of it, but when I get out, I've got a 10 or 15 minute commute to the car, and then I can sit there. And you know me, I, I, have, to, I have to know what's going on. I remember sitting back for the iPhone 4. I was in uh, sophomore year or junior year, and my teacher let me sit there with my Mac open uh, and keep refreshing Mac rumors and or whatever it was, Gizmodo back at the time, getting the details on the product. So I'm really excited for it. Yes, I plan on getting one. I think I mentioned before I sold my 4S to Gazelle for $300. I locked in the price. I don't have to send the 4S to them until October 1st, so that's nice. So I can play with the 4 I can keep the 4S until I get the 5. I don't know what it's going to cost. You know, I got the 4S day one, so I don't know what AT&T is going to charge me. And I have, at this point, megabytes available on the 4S. Every time I take any new photos and I put them in my photo library and then go to sync or add a few songs, I end up having to delete apps or uh, other stuff that I didn't want on there. So 32 gig, I can't believe it, but that is not enough space anymore. So I'm going to have to go 64. So that's another $100, which sucks. And if I have to do it off contract or if I'm violating my contract in AT&T's views here since it's a two-year, then it's going to cost more money, a lot more money, which is going to suck. But... At this point, I'm kind of committed, and I, and I am very excited for the iPhone 5. Uh, the one I have now, it works well, but it's slow and sluggish, and it has some problems. But not like Kenan's, his power button doesn't work. iPhone 4. Enough talking. It's time to get to work. Had a great day today. It was really nice. Uh, did a lot of walking around campus, found some new buildings, and, and I, don't, I don't know. It was fun. I listened to the Beatles for a long time today. I haven't really listened to Beatles for a while, so I'm thinking I'm going to throw the quiet, the quiet comforts on and uh, put, put on some more Sgt. Peppers, probably, or Revolver, and get this done. And we're full of gas as of yesterday, so I'm probably good for the end of the season. That's a per gallon tank. 410. That only took maybe 40 minutes. I just took a shower. Maybe less than that. I didn't trim. And now it's nice and even and pretty. And that's the only one now that's kind of pending, and I mentioned before I'm going to do it later. All right, errand time. One. Haircut. One. Done. Two. Bank. Two. Done. And we have a gorgeous F10 550, I'm gonna guess. Unbadged like the M5. 73 degrees. Actually feels cool. Uh, it's gonna warm up later this week, like 84 Wednesday, so that'll be welcome. It's very cloudy this morning, and now it's beautiful. 
Makes me feel like fall, which means we're gonna have to start taking those hikes again. Friggin' right. Well, it is almost the start of a new day. It's 11.55 p.m. Uh, I've been doing the basic, doing the basic stuff. Nothing too, nothing too exciting or special. You know, emails and YouTube and that. Um, got the yard done here today. It was a pretty nice day. Got the hair did, got to the bank, getting excited for the iPhone. That is about it for today. So tomorrow's Tuesday. Regular schedule, nothing uh, exciting going on. Wednesday, iPhone event. Thursday, long day at the office. Friday, good day at the office. Saturday, thunderstorm possibilities. So we'll see what goes on. Uh, but I hope you guys had a good day on September 10th. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Be safe. Good night.